Start. All right, welcome everyone to another exciting episode of Beer Guys Don't Wine. I'm Dave. And I'm John. And tonight we're going to talk about Zinfandel, California Zinfandel. Uh, in the last episode, we talked about uh, the Italian Zinfandel, which was the uh, Primitivo. I don't even know if it was a Zinfandel, right? Was it? Well, the Primitivo is the cousin well, it was a of Primitivo, the Primitivo, but it was uh, like. When it when it came out, it was very thin and very uh, like different than any Zinfandel I ever had. So, so was, in the last episode, we talked about the Primitivo, me. which was the cousin of the Zinfandel. It's not really a cousin; it's the same. Um, but in the states, um, the Zinfandel, um, primarily in California. So, John, what bottle you got today? So, so today we're going to talk about. This is something neat. I, I really like the design Rattlesnake. on it, you know, and that's pretty much how I pick my wines. I just go around and look what catches my eye. Why not? Um, it's called Rattlesnake. It's uh, it's from Mount Peak Winery in Sonoma County. Right. Ten percent um, of the wines in California are Zinfandels. What is the grape? Well, the grape is Zinfandel, right? So what it, characteristic is the grape? Right. It, yeah. Pretty cool. But the Zinfandel grape itself is a very large, dark grape. But so the Zinfandel is really not a blend then? No. Zinfandel is a, a, a straight. Now this one does have a touch of something in right. it, right? It has 4% of something-something in it. We're not sure what that is, but it well, has 4% of something-something. Petite Syrah, right? What is it? Petite Syrah? <laughs> yeah, it's good. a Petite Syrah. It has, a, has 4% of Petite Syrah in it. Just a little touch. Just you know, I thought maybe give a little bit of five percent would have been better, but they went with four percent. I like the four percent, you know, <laughs> just a little touch. Why not? You know, you don't want to overdo the petite Syrah. right? I don't know what petite Syrah uh, tastes like. Do you? No. We'll, we'll have to try that one next, right? right? So 2014 was the first time they made wine out of this winery. What year was this? This is 2015. So this is already um, a very um, well respected yeah. wine in its second year. So a Zinfandel, how right. long, when, when are you supposed to drink a Zinfandel? Zinfandel, you, you're, you like how American many? should wait five years, five just years. like the Cabernet Sauvignon, and then you can go to 10 year, to 15 years. So you have the 15 year window. So you have a 10 year window to drink this. And this is being um, a, a 2015. 2015, so we're, we're, we're good. Pretty so, excited about this. And one of the reasons they call this rattlesnake and if you see it, there's a rattlesnake intertwined, whatever that word is, intertwined between the wine. Wrapped up. Yeah, or wrapped up. Right. So, or around. So on or the, like, like on hugging. the, right, hugging. or hugging, yeah. So what it, what it is, is the winery, the vines, Okay, can um, we get into tasting the wine now? No, no, not you. This is, <laughs> You're this boring is cool. Me. No, the You're rattlesnake. Boring. I'm talking about rattlesnake. How's that boring? Go ahead. That's not boring. That's fantastic. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is pretty cool. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Anyway. Yeah, you're boring the dog. Yeah. Is what they call it. And the rattlesnakes actually go out <laughs> and they sun during the day. At night, they they twist around the vines to sleep. That's pretty cool. Get out of here. That's awesome. That's better than Lilith. All right. All right. At least it's true. Lilith. What are you talking about, Lilith? Lilith, you're, you're his old, the last wine, he's talking about... Lilith, some made up character. This is real. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Okay. All right. So let's let's uh, take a look at this wine, right? Color. You want to talk about the the price of it first? No, so, I didn't. I didn't yeah, buy it. You bought it. Uh, let me. Let's talk about the price of this first. So, so um, we went with a little bit pricier wine this time. So this is, was listed on the shelf at forty four dollars. Woo! Right? So $44. It was, it was on sale for $36. All right. Right? And it had a coupon right next to it for $8. Fantastic. Bought this for $28. Wow. A $44 wine. Fantastic. So that's what you look for. Fantastic. You look, you look for, for those. Something on sale. No, you look for those. Well, let's say try to, wineries try to, uh, not wineries, um, Liquor stores try to blow out certain wines because the more they buy it, the more money they make. So sure. you look for those wines, right? So let's give this a smell. Mm. It smells oh, good. That's, that's it smells deep. good. So what do you think about the color of this thing? Very dark. 
Yeah. Very that dark. That one. I mean, like a like a deep like garnet a, purple. Deep garnet. But you see it around the edge, a little bit lighter around the edge. The blue lights start on a soft over here. Yeah. yeah. So this is this legs. is. How about legs? Deep. Uh oh. Good legs. This guy's great legs. Yeah. And this. And this is a thick wine. This is definitely. Let's let's give it a smell. You smell. Does it smell delicious? I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying good. like raspberry-ish. Yeah, yeah. A little yeah. bit. Very, very, let's give it a taste. Let's give it a taste. Very, almost like a tobacco taste. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. A little bit in the back yeah. there. Kind of like... Much thicker. This is a thick wine. So you drink this wine, you know there's a lot of body to it. There's a lot of body. I, I'm getting in the back. I'm getting acidity in my cheeks here. I'm getting a little stringency up front, and that's kind of what you want. You want all those things no, happening. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's not what you want, but that, that's what he. I wants. mean, that's, he said, that's what you want. Well, how do you know what they what want? What you're looking for in a good wine. That's what you're right? looking for. What okay. you're looking for in a good wine okay. is is. All those things, all those characteristics. Well, you want the senses. You want the taste. Right. right. That makes, makes a good, good wine, wine right? right. You, if it's just real easy, like the wine he gave us last time, real easy, it's like fruit juice. Right. You know? it's There's nothing light. fun about it. This, this is fun. Every time you, you drink this, it's like a new experience. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. It's fun. It's, it's it's bursting in your mouth with flavor. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> the hell do I mean? Very fun. It is. I think it's a. I I am a big fan of this. No, you're a ball fire. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> no. This is good wine. This it, you feel it in your cheeks. I right feel there. it through the whole mouth. My whole yeah. my palate is. It is being. You know. Oh, a absolutely. Do you taste the fruits? Too? I do taste. The I fruits. taste the fruits like a black cherry, a blueberry, like a dark. But it's heavy. And the, and but the, it's heavy. Right. So the tannins, like what they say, like uh, like chewy. Bold. You say bold? Bold. It's bold. It's bold. Like, Very bold. They say chewy tannins. Like right. you almost, they sit in your mouth and, you know, it's like a licorice almost right. too. Like a licorice. Right? This, right. Is, this definitely right. has a licorice right. flavor. Right. It's fantastic. I, I really like this wine. This is good. You might see... You might, you know, if you ever stop by my house, you might see a rattlesnake. <laughs> I don't know how that goes. Back, back to the rattlesnake thing again. Yeah. Well, you know, hey. Very good. Very yeah. good. It's a, it's a good wine. Uh, but the vines are 130 years old. That's why this so the vine, the vines, the vines survive. Oh, that's that's cool. why they can start a vineyard. And this is the second that's cool. production year, and it's fantastic. That's wine. excellent. That's good. Because it's good unbelievable, info. right? Good info. Right. That's so this and is it's called Rattlesnake Vineyards. It, no, it's called uh, Mount Peak Mount Winery. Peak. Right. And this is called Rattlesnake. And it, well, yeah, this is a Rattlesnake yeah. Rattlesnake uh, Red Zinfandel. Very good. Okay. It, it's it's a really if you get a chance to get this for twenty eight dollars, I think you're getting a quality quality. Is it, worth, is it worth $40? Yeah, this is... This you, would, is you would pay $40. This hours. is a good wine. Okay. This is a good wine. Right. I, I mean, I think you can get this wine for $38 in that range, and, and I think it's well worth the $38. Right, let's, uh, let's compare it to a beer. That's what we do here. We're, we're beer guys getting into a lot more wine than we expected. Uh, how will we compare this to... Ooh, you know what I'm going with? I think I'm going with the flat tire. Or fat tire. I'm going with the fat tire too. I'm going with the fat tire. A oh, Belgian white. Yeah, it's got it's got a little bit more. You don't like that. You don't like that decision. I saw it. I saw that the. Yeah, I. So it's. I would I. Uh, I might say more of a lager. Oof, no. Right. No. No. Not right. No. I don't think so. It might even be. It might even be a beer that we don't have here, almost right. like a stout. It's it's right. almost to the right. point of a stout. It's, right. Not like a this, Guinness, but you know, right. Yeah, but it, but an easier. I don't know. Guinness is a pretty easy stout. Like yeah. that's an easy stout to drink, and and this might be um, very very much. You know, I think it would lean more towards a Guinness. So if you had to rate this from a zero to a five, I mean, I'm definitely with you, a four. I'm going to three and a half. Yeah, I would I'm give this a four. Yeah, I think it's better than your average, 
Uh, I'll give you a three and a half. I don't know if it's necessarily a four. Yeah. Are you good? Uh, excellent. Signing out. Another episode of Beer Guys Going Wine. Salute. Salute.